Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North, or if you have a stellium in Aquarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. This came out in reverse. Six of Wands, Death. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords, the Lovers. You could be dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Virgo. All right. Either this person put you in a third party situation or this person was healing from something. They, were, they just came out from a connection, came out from a relationship. Or they were just in a third party. They put you in a third party connection because of which there was a lot of confusion. There's a lot of pain that was involved in the past. There was a lot of pain in this connection. This person brought you a lot of pain. You brought a lot of pain to each other. There was definitely... There could have been a lot of disagreements and a lot of arguments. There wasn't a lot of clarity between the both of you in the past. Because the sun came out in reverse. The sun uh, tells about, uh, talks about clarity. The sun talks about whatever there's hidden being illuminated. So there was a lot of darkness. There was a lot of secrecy even. There's, there were a lot of things you weren't very clear about when it came to this person. Now in the present time, this person is learning to love themselves. They're learning what love is. They're also discovering the love they have for you. You think that this connection has ended. Like it's done and dusted once and for all. They see you as someone who right now is like you are getting a lot of attention. You are doing well in life. So they think that you they are going through so much pain while you are doing well in life. There's a lot of imbalance in this connection definitely. And this person thinks that you are doing well. You are doing good without them. You have moved on. Whereas they are in this like they are still going through some pain. This person might be aware that you think that this connection has ended once and for all. In the outcome, see the three of pentacles was also here. So this person will make a choice to come towards you and tell you that they want to work on this connection. They want to work on the stability, the four of pentacles. They will come and tell you that. But I feel like you are very much in this eight of swords energy of like you, you, you are almost blocking this person. You're very stuck thinking that this connection is over, that this cannot be revived, that, that, that there's no way you both can work it out together. So there's definitely a disconnect here.
Okay, let's clarify the cards. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, the Moon. Yeah. The insecurity, the darkness, Ace of Wands came out in reverse. This person wasn't communicating to you everything. If they were going through a painful situation, if they were going through something from the past, if they put you in a third party situation, this person kept you, kept a lot of secrets. They kept everything hidden from you. I also feel like you could never, like in the past, you weren't able to trust this person completely. There was also a lot of stubbornness when it came to this person. Like they were very stubbornly holding back from telling you everything. They were also in this very page of wands energy. The page of wands is very someone who's a smooth talker, someone who's flirtatious, but someone who... At the same time, the it's, it's a wand energy. A wand energy isn't the pentacle energy. So this person was all about having fun, about flirting, about having some good time together. But, it, but when it came to actually talking everything out, telling what's up with them, what's going on with them, this person hid everything. There was a lot of darkness. There was a lot of secrecy. Yeah, they could definitely be moving away from something else. From something in the past, this person was moving on from something in the past. I got like rebound energy here. I heard the term rebound. So this person could like very well be coming out of another connection, coming out of another situation. And they were moving towards karma waters. And that's when you met each other. And this person almost treated you like... I don't want to say it, but a rebound energy. Okay, I have to pick up that card. Yeah, Knight of Wands. of cups okay let me see that this person is finding the strength right now in the present this person is finding the strength they are finding the strength to overcome this knight of wands energy here they are feeling very passionate towards you they almost want to come rushing in and they miss the energy you both shared. As I said, there was a lot of flirting. There was a lot of passion. It's very possible there was a lot of passion, a lot of heat, but that's all it was. So this person right now is learning. They're learning to love themselves. They're learning to take care of themselves. They're learning what love is and what they want from you. They're holding back from communicating with you. They're holding back from talking to you in the present because they're gaining the strength to understand that they are in love with you and they want this. The king of pentacles is someone you build the ten of pentacles with. In the present moment, this person is learning to be in this king of pentacles energy. They're trying to find the strength to understand that they have feelings for you. And they 
want to have a future with you. is very aware of the injustice of the imbalance they brought into their life I also feel like this person is very aware of how karma works and they could be almost you know with death and justice here especially they're going through some awakening here. This person uh, in the future will go through some transformation, some awakening. This transformation will help them understand how karma works. But with the four of wands in the near, near future, with the four of pentacles, this person is willing to put in all the effort to build this four of wands with you. They're willing to put in the effort to build this four of wands. They're willing to put in the effort to have that happily ever after with you. And for that, if they have to, have to go through a transformation, they're willing to do that. And the reason they are willing to put in all this effort is because they feel the six of cups energy, want a reunion with you. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio here. But they want another shot at this. Okay, let's see what's the problem. Yeah, this person could very well be in another commitment, another connection. They could have been married to someone else. And I heard they forgot to mention it. You're also very emotionally manipulative, this person. They definitely emotionally manipulated you. And a lot of arguments and disagreements happened because of this. Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck is five of wands and three of swords. Also the nine of swords. The reason this heartbreak happened was because this person was emo emotionally manipulative. They didn't tell you the truth. They didn't tell you that they were in something else. They were in another commitment. There could have been a lot of people involved in this connection. And that is why this heartbreak, this painful ending happened. Because the truth came out. Whatever lies this person told, it eventually came out. Okay. Need to pick that up. The hanged man. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands clarifying the Six of Wands. They see you as someone uh, right now who's getting a lot of attention. With the Five of Wands here, this person uh, almost sees you as someone who strategically moved away from them. You almost made plans to move away from them. You almost did it on purpose, like out of spite. I don't know. This person feels like they feel a very spiteful energy when it comes to you. They feel like you planned everything. I don't know. This is not a great energy. This person might also see you as someone who's, you know, like getting someone who's getting a lot of attention from the opposite sex. 
right now this person doesn't really think that highly of you there's a lot of spiteful energy i i am getting from this person Yeah, but they see you as someone who's getting attention from others. You are done with this connection. You have gained some sort of clarity. You have strategized and planned to move away from this person, moved away from this connection. And you are willing to go after the things that you want and willing to give to others. They also see you as someone who is done with their uh, mind games and drama. Okay, let's yeah you are you have given up on this connection this is your energy right now you have given up on this connection you have decided to focus on your pentacles decided to focus on looking good being single enjoying your life enjoying yourself enjoying your own company you're almost fine being single right now You're taking care of yourself. You are taking care of your boundaries. You're very focused on your pentacles right now. You could be working very hard when it comes to your career, when it comes to your job. You could be starting something new that is going to make you independent and help you do well because the Queen of Wands is the kind of energy that goes after things that they want. With the judgment here, you certainly have gained some sort of clarity regarding this connection. You could be dealing with a strong Scorpio energy. This this connection also transformed you. Like it transformed you inside out. This is a very strong and intense connection with the lovers here. of cups this person will be almost hell-bent to pursue you the, the emperor is a very thick like not fixed very uh, aggressively mars energy the emperor goes after things that they want and this emperor this person will see you as their wish fulfillment with the lovers here they can't overcome this connection this connection is too strong for them to overcome and they want to work on this the three of pentacles Whatever, if you have blocked this person, this person will try their level best to contact you, to come towards you. In some way or the other, this person could already be stalking you. And even if your defenses are up, they will try to come towards you and make this connection work. Eight of Swords repeated here twice. You are very much in your head when it comes to this connection. When this person is going to come in, it is going to lead you to be in this eight of swords energy. You will feel very stuck. You will feel like you can't move. You can't make a proper decision. It will confuse the heck out of you when this person comes in. Because you feel like this connection has ended and you have, you already are trying your level best to move on from this painful connection, painful situation. But they are coming back. And they are going to come back very strongly. Like this person is going to come on strong to like and tell you that they see you as the like they are not going to tell you they see you as the wish fulfillment but they are going to tell you they want to work on this connection because they see their ultimate happiness in this connection. Yeah, see your defenses are very, very up. And you would have definitely blocked the eight of swords coming out twice seven of wands you have blocked this connection but this person is very hopeful that this connection will give them the ultimate happiness and that is why they will come on very strong could be dealing with an aries here all right aquarius well that's your reading i hope you find the clarity you've been looking for i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye